We are in a digital era where technology has advanced day in, day out. Nowadays, you can see that most of the time we are using a number of electronics to do one or two activities. For instance, in the film industry, Mobile has been really accepted and impressed by a number of students and even the media people to break news, film their stories and talk about what they want to share out there when it comes to social media and other platforms. In Moore University, students in the media department have embraced the use of smartphones in filming their projects, for instance, their classwork and all other activities they do outside class. I randomly sampled some students and here is what they had to say about using the smartphones for filming. I'm yet, um, a student in the School of Information Sciences. I'd prefer using my phone because of time. It really saves time and then uh, it's faster in terms of editing from my content. Okay, using the app that we normally use to edit content. So time, space and um, efficiency because I'm doing it on my own. It's Media student, why will you prefer using a smartphone here in Mo University or rather as compared to a camera? So the first thing is that accessibility to a camera, honestly, is not for everyone. So you always have your phone at hand and if something is happening, like before you look for a camera, as in the first thing you reach for obviously is your phone. So I think just the accessibility aspect just covers it for me. And then also, your phone can do a lot of things, you can edit, you can do a lot of things with your phone, so it makes things easier if you are not a professional camera person. Students who are vloggers have not been left out too. They use their smartphones to record live videos as they interact with their audiences. For instance, this natural hair tutor uses her phone to connect with her audiences on Instagram as she makes her hair at the comfort of her house. <laughs> and that's my friend who is filming via um, a camera, as in the, the professional camera now. But for me, I'm using my phone so that I can reach my audience out there. Mobile Journalism Africa, dubbed Mojo, is a Moe University student-founded platform that encourages students and other people to use their smartphones for filming as a way of telling their stories. Marvin Gakunyi is the founder and CEO. Mobile journalism is a concept that uses the idea of mobile phones as a, as a replacement or rather as a more accessible way of telling stories, especially for people who want to film and tell, uh, tell stories differently. The reason why we started it at Moe University is because this is where we've studied. So the idea was conceptualized in Nairobi, but the implementation started here. And <clears throat> the idea behind mobile journalism is the simplicity of telling stories. For the longest time ever, people think of carrying very bulky cameras that are more expensive and you end up going for four years in the university having not utilized ex exactly what you have. So at mobile journalism you call those mobile phones pocket studios because from them you can shoot, edit and publish a story in whichever uh, format it is in. Smartphone filming has already become a huge sector for competition. But how has mobile phones enhanced storytelling? Emmanuel Yegon, the co-founder and communication director of Mobile Journalism Africa, explains. Mobile phones are changing the way stories are told. And when I say mobile phones, I mean, uh, for instance, a few weeks ago, the Kenya Film Commission organized a competition dubbed the Mobile Phone Film Competition. And in this competition, they were asking youth specifically, specifically to tell stories on different things in, in society using mobile phones, shoot very, very short film using their phones. Um, and the reason why I'm saying that they are enhancing, you see, this dif the different changes that have come with technology have allowed us to, you don't have to have uh, sophisticated equipment to do film. All you need to do is have your phone use your smartphone to tell these stories. And then you have these add-ons that help you to stabilize the shots that you want and tell your story in, in, in the best way possible. Uh, at mobile journalism, we don't just call them smartphones, we call them pocket studios. So the reason why we encourage people to use smartphones like the one I'm holding in my arm right now is because these gadgets are accessible, cheap, and they are easy to use. Why? Because you can shoot a story from it, edit, and publish at 
the comfort of your pocket. In order to achieve stability during filming using smartphones, some accessories are required. These include smartphones, video rigs, tabletops and tripod stands blended together with lapel mics, lights, among others. Some of the things that help us while doing filming are some of the add-ons or what we call uh, mobile phone filming accessories and some of them are these this is the mobile phone rig and what it does is that it enables you to take stable shots and it has sections where you can actually fit in the lights if you have lights and also um, lapel so if you want to have sound here and light here and you actually you can actually mount it on a tripod uh, so what happens is you just fit your phone into this space you open it up then you fit your phone into this space and you can screw it back in so that when you hold it this way uh, you can still have stable shots if in any case you're in a place where you do not have a tripod stand and then again we have um, it's called a tabletop tripod so that uh, for those of us who do vlogs you can actually use it you just place it on the table fix your phone on it then if you have a if you if you have the mics then you can actually fix it and and and, and do what you want to do with this lapel with this uh, tabletop tripod and it's flexible it can actually shoot at whatever angle you want to shoot uh, depending on 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 what story you are telling and actually if you want to do a for instance you are taking shots of cutaways of people walking in the streets you can actually mount this one just down that way and place it on the ground and you'll have your shot uh, another thing that enables you to hold whatever helps you to hold the phone is this mobile phone clamp and what it does is that uh, it helps to hold your phone in place uh, whenever you want to use it in any form of tripod so that uh, there's this flexible one this 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 is the cheapest i am sure but there are other types so you just stretch it that way put your phone there and then it has it also has a place where you can screw your phone in uh, and even at the back so it can enable you if for instance i want to do that uh -huh. so i have that then i want to do something like that or anything for as long as it, it, it's it's flexible if you are using a different tripod then you would want to look at play with different angles so that will en en enable you to fit it on your tripod stand uh, what we are saying is that we can use our smartphones to tell stories from whatever location that you are in and we are saying that our stories are best told by us in the case of more university students professional cameras are quite expensive to acquire and maintain therefore most choose to use their smartphones to do their class projects, film videos during events in the school, and to capture their great moments. Juma Msakali is a publishing and media student lecturer at Mo University. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to say that uh, you cannot sit on an idea whose time has come. And uh, that is about mobile journalism. I think about two years ago, I did tell some students that, um, that the, 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 the mobile, mobile uh, telephony you know, is, is the way to go. And I think at that time, there was somebody who had done um, a whole movie in Hollywood uh, on, 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 I mean, shooting using a mobile phone. 
so uh personally i really 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 support the idea of using mobile uh, telephony uh because it's a mashup of almost every every other technology uh in the phone but above everything i value the mobile phone's camera yeah because it opens the whole world Tony Onaswa is in charge of Nation Media Group digital platform. He has a great belief in mobile filming in journalism. This phone nowadays is not just um, you know an alternative or, or something that you run to um, because you have low budgets. Yeah, these phones nowadays are designed. Um, they have the same capacity as. Um, proper HD camera. You see like this one has two cameras so this is a, a proper HD cameras and there's been um, um, they I don't think they're going to replace um, your normal DSLR uh, sort of camera uh, because of the uh, limitation of um, the functionalities but in terms of capturing content I think this provides a very nice um, alternative and then again if you're shooting for uh, content that you're gonna share online this provides um, capabilities and avenues to even take that sort of content further. So it's something that I think uh, it's not going to be a trend on its own. I think it'll just be part of um, our add-on to what is already happening with your normal DSLR uh, cameras. So it's, it's something that uh, I would encourage. I'm always passionate about using mobile phones especially. I mean, there's so much you can do with it if it's research. But when it comes to capturing content, um, especially instant kind of content, you can go live immediately with this phone. So it's something that I think it's, 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 um, it's a nice trend that is going to uh, just take its own path. Yeah. There was a recent report that said, suggested that over 90% of traffic to a lot of media houses websites was through mobile phone nowadays we don't talk about mobile first we talk about mobile only because that's where the audiences are desktop and uh, and tablets are no longer the destinations where people come to consume digital content um personally as a media lecturer i would uh, i mean I, I would definitely encourage my students to go that way to go the direction of uh, using uh, mobile uh, telephony, mobile uh, uh, journalism because uh, like I said earlier it's the way to go and uh, I've seen, I've already seen projects that have been done by uh, my students using uh, mobile phones and they're awesome. Uh, so I, I, when I come to a class and ask uh, people if they have uh, you know cameras and uh, I hear somebody saying they don't have a camera and they have a smartphone I really get discouraged. I have been in the field for some instances, like two cases, where I have been in the field, I have mounted my DSLR camera, but the SD card fails to read. My sources are there, I have, I have spent money traveling to that venue, and then the camera fails to do what it was supposed to do. So then I think, Am I going to leave this story because the camera has failed me? But because I have been using my mobile, my, my smartphone to do stories, so I think quickly and mount my phone on the tripod and with the lapel mics, I just run the story to the end. And you see, most people, if you're not talking, you'll not realize that there's a difference in quality. And right now, because there are now advancements in the way these smartphones are being made, so you'll find that the quality of the video keeps increasing with the advancements, with the higher, uh, high-end smartphones. So I have realized that the smartphone is a very useful tool, it is an important tool which, whose power we cannot underestimate. Because in instances where you are far away from, you cannot access a smart, a, a, a professional camera, a DSLR for instance, or the high-definition cameras, you have a tool in your pocket to use to tell your stories. And, and I keep saying this, we have access to mobile phones. Most of us do not have access to these professional cameras. So use what you have in your hand to tell stories. It has worked for me and I believe it can work for you. So let us tell stories using the tools that are available, that are easily available to us. Just let's do it professionally and we'll get whatever we want out. Using mobile phones in filming is a double-edged sword. It has benefits and challenges. 
right now, if anything happens here in school, the first thing that people do is get out their mobile phones. If, if, if it is an event, if it is uh, a riot, for instance, if it is um, something happening around, if the elections and, and, and the results have been released and people are celebrating, the first thing that will come into people's hands is the mobile phone, to take photos, to take videos, go live on Facebook. Uh, so you see, that is storytelling in itself. And a, 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 past, a, a recent study has revealed that, uh, you know, we, we, are not, we are no longer talking about mobile first. Right now it's mobile only. So mobile phones really are the first things that, if, if, even when you wake up for instance, the first thing you want to look at is what's happening online. And the way you're accessing the internet is using your mobile phone. That's why even um, companies or brands are thinking about, when they're thinking about uh, designing their websites, they are designing websites that are suitable for mobile. So this is telling us that the trend and, and, and is, is essentially mobile is the future. Mobile is the future of storytelling. It's, it's, it's closer to the people and so it means that access to information, access to news, access to anything that is, that is happening around and even internationally, the access is through mobile. And so for filming here in Mo University, for instance, uh, the easily available, the easily accessible tool is the mobile phone. So if you have accessories like these ones, if you have add-ons, then you will be the, I mean, you'll, you'll, you'll do this professionally and you can even use that clip or use the, that footage, use that, the content that you've produced, you can use it for even TV, you can use it for the online platforms. We have YouTube, people are using, are being creative, they're using their platforms to tell stories. Currently we are living in a world where video consumption is so high and actually, with the, with the mobile, as a, the mobile only, we can now take videos wherever we go. For example, as a student, as a student of uh, media, I have utilized my smartphone as a, as a means of marketing myself and my content using videos. Uh, I take videos at events, at conferences, at, uh, I've done for demos, demonstrations. Yeah, so generally video consumption is so high and actually because a uh, video makes more appeal to the human because it tells stories. One thing about video is that you can depict emotion, you can portray emotions of people because videos and sound and audio can tell stories where text cannot come in. With the advancement of technology, smartphones, camera specs have improved by the day. And that can be seen by the use of the add-ons and accessories that are used to make sure that the videos are stable. Being the millennial digital age, a number of them are accessing the smartphones because they love the fun of it and they use and in terms of engaging with others on social media to share on how their activities are going on. And this has led to the rate in increase of the smartphones circulation. My name is Janet Machuka.